Hello everyone, Silent K here, and today we're looking at all the real world locations from Season 2, Episode 4 of Utercamp. The theme of the episode was reminiscing. There were a lot of real world locations, but almost all of them were repeats. There was reminiscing about the winter trips and stuff from Season 1. A lot of stuff. But there were a few unique, interesting new locations. So first up is from Aoi's trip to Takayama. There was a shot of her inside Hiroyu Onsen. I wasn't even planning on looking into it originally because there's never photos inside the hot springs. But there wasn't much to look into this episode so I figured why not. And it actually turns out that there are 360 photos. And the name of the place is Hiroyu no Yu. Hiroyu Onsen is like the name of the area, not that specific business. So... Hira Takayama is over here. And she came way out into the mountains to go to this hot spring. Just right over here. And there's one photo inside the actual baths. So you can see the, the support and the roof. You can see the slatted fence and the rocks. I think this is the first time in the history of the series that I've actually gotten a photo inside the baths. So that's cool. Alright, next up is Nadeshko at Minobu Station. We have looked at Minobu Station before from the outside, when they went to Karibo. But there were some shots inside the station this time. So last time we were over here at the front of the station, then they took a walk down here to Karibo. But we actually have some shots inside. And there's 360 photos through this entire thing. If I can find them. There we go. Alright, so the first one, wow this is really low. It didn't look this low on my desktop. <laughs> but yeah, the front window. A lot of posters and whatnot, and the entrance to the platform, and these are all connected so we can just wander on through. And then you see you're going down these stairs, you can see the side of the white vending machine here. It's from the other side of the room, but good enough. Can we get to the platform from here? Yes we can. All right, and the last shot was on the platform. Actually, that's the better one. You can see the benches on the platform just as she misses the train. All right, and then later in the episode, Nadeshko comes back here to meet up with her sister at the restaurant, and she goes down this street again, past Karibo, which in season one, I didn't find the location of because it's a fictional place. I knew that much, but I wasn't thinking about the actual location being real. So I went back and I actually found where the store is located even though it's not real. And we saw this bridge in season one with these little uh, bumps here. But take notice of the landscape and how it is exactly the same as the landscape behind Karibo. And right over here. We got these box lamps. These are all down the street. But we also got this uh, sidewalk with the yellow line on it. So this is the actual location of Karibo, even though the store itself is fictional. And the restaurant is also fictional, but I was able to find the location of that too. So we come all the way down here, past the bridge. And it is this empty lot right here. So you can see the side of this building here. The windows are all the same. But the restaurant is fictional. Now you might be thinking they said it's a new restaurant, so maybe they built it after the Street View car came through here. 
but Google Maps doesn't have any business listed at this location. So even in spite of the photos, there's definitely not anything here now. Alright, well that covers all the new locations from episode 4. Very short and sweet compared to the last three, which were really long. They really doubled down on those ones. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please tune in again next time.